All right, it's June 30th, 2011. It's the last day of the month. Um, I did a recording, uh, I believe yesterday or the day before, in regards to storage and the problems that people have. Uh, I could write a book about storage, and the only reason I've ever gone to storage is because, yeah, believe it or not, there are some people, people like me, whose lives are controlled. And it takes lots and lots of money, or lots of influence, or both, in order to either intimidate people to leave you alone, or, or uh, you know, uh, or you know, be attacked, be bullied. You know, they talk about bullying in school, and how it has a cause and effect. Uh, you know, permanent. It, it could have a cause and effect, permanent effect on a person's life. Um, it, it it depends on the person. You know, whether they're strong enough to withstand. And, uh, by, and and be able to apply the sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, so what I'm talking about today is pretty much a, quite a few things. It's generally about cause and effect. And that this society, every word I've said, besides the ranting and raving, which had intelligent comments in between or in the rant and rave, yeah, all you got to do is take notes. I know there's more than 50 videos, and it's boring to see a presidential candidate talk like this. But, you know, this, those many videos that I've done because of the evil news media, the way they do the media, they control how candidates look to the public. They do, through censorship and through, uh, through editing, through editing and censorship. And they're both connected. So let's talk about editing and censorship. Let's talk about bullying in schools. It isn't just in school. It's in society. I, my 50 videos, or more than 50 videos, are a perfect, and I don't believe in perfection, but they are just pretty much a perfect example of an individual, that's me, who has been pushed and bullied and hasn't done anything yet. The kids of Columbine did done something. The Palestinian states and the Israelis, they get pushed and bullied all the time. And they do something about it. They shoot rockets at each other. They kill men, women, and children. But so does the United States of America. You citizens who pay taxes are responsible for those deaths. I don't care whether it's direct or indirect. You're responsible. You're violating even what Christ said. Remember what he said? I think uh, he's one of my favorite philosophers. I don't believe he was a son of God, at least not in the way you religious people put it. But I do believe in him as a person. And I do believe in his intelligence, and Buddha's intelligence, and Moses' intelligence, and any of the old soothsayers that used to leave many intelligent, say many intelligent things in between their rant and raves. But one thing Christ said, uh, if people ask me, do I believe in the Bible, I said, no, I don't believe in the Bible. I know the Bible, and I know what makes sense in the Bible. And the Bible doesn't start at Moses. It doesn't start in Revelations. It starts at one place in Matthew. And it's the same first three digits as the speed of light. 186. 186,000 miles per second. Twice the distance to the sun round trip is 186,000, I mean 186 million miles. And in Matthew 18, 6, 186, chapter 18, I'll paraphrase 6, Christ said, they ask him, who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? His apostles. And Christ said, children and if and he said verily i say to you if you don't adopt the values and and the innocence of a child you won't get into heaven so if you people who are allegedly christians and you're paying taxes to kill other people's children who believe in the quran it doesn't matter whether it's the quran or the bible or anything else if you hurt children you're going to pay for it either now or later or even now your whole life and later you don't believe me? That's fine. Go on. Keep doing your crap that you're doing because that's what you're doing. Crapola. So let's back up. Where does this bullying come in? Well, that's connected to the environment. Cause and effect. That's what this whole 15-minute thing is about. Cause and effect. Let's talk about the cause and effects of the environmentalists who go bananas they go gaga when somebody's doing something wrong dumping stuff into rivers dumping stuff in the ocean you know and, and you know cause and effect cause and effect oh the eco environment we have to be so green we have to be so concerned hey you also have to be concerned 
about the private rights of citizens, the rights to privacy, the cause and effect that you cause in a person's life financially and mentally when you apply a zoning law that, that is equivalent to cruel and unusual punishment because of the way you applied it. And the way these things were applied to me, they were applied to me in not only a wrongful state, but they have destroyed me to the point of grinding away my teeth, me, me not knowing that I was grinding away my teeth at night, and now there is permanent damage. So you actually are watching me die because I'm just going to do these videos until I die because nobody gives a damn. You care more. There are more views on sexy nude models on YouTube, millions of views as opposed to mine. Why not mine? Because nobody cares. You don't care about another person's rights or liberties. You only care about yours. How did I do, how did I do that? Yours. Your rights and liberty. So that means you have a single standard. It's important when it happens to you, but it's not important when it happens to me or when it happens to your neighbor or when you make the phone call anonymously and you make it happen to your neighbor. You're all evil. You're selfish. You're, I think somebody at NASA once said, you're so conceited. There's the word, the word conceit can't even hold a matchstick, a light, to how conceited your human race is. And those of you that are different, they're like me, they're trying to change it, you're never going to get anywhere. Just, you're just, look at me. They really have destroyed my life. I wake up every morning in a total deep, deep depression. It took me till 12 o'clock today to get up out of my stupor from the, dep the, the situational depression, which is like a drug, that your society, Obama, the vice president, the Congress, the state legislature of California, the, the, the whole ball game, federal, state, local, all of you, Every neighbor, every lawyer, every judge, all of you pay taxes into this collective United States of America. All of you are evilly and equally greedy. And I hate you all equally. But you know what? That's not going to change the world. The world's still going on out there. There's still crime. Let me put something to you. You worry about the ecology, but you don't worry about how society applies something to somebody. A cruel and unusual over done application of a law that destroys a person's life and then you go oh that's not my problem that's his problem okay why do you put your money in the bank Are you afraid somebody's gonna break into your house and steal your money that's the only reason banks are like Al Capone it's a protection racket and now the banks have convinced you to put your money in and you'll make you'll make a 6% interest on CD accounts and blah 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 but when but when the bank screws up and they make a mistake or, or 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 even if it's half your mistake and half theirs they'll never admit to the mistake and they'll make you pay for it so banks in a roundabout way are in a protection racket so are the police so is this whole city thing You've, you've gone overboard on practically everything that you do. And any good that you do is erased by the mountains and mountains of evil and bad things that you people do. Bad decisions, bad treatment of people, people like me. What have I ever done? Do I have a record? Do I have a felony record? Did I go into a school and shoot a bunch of people? Did I set a bomb like Timothy McVeigh and blow up a federal building? What would you think if I was an alien and I was on a spaceship and I looked at planet Earth and I said, you know what, 65 million years ago we sent a rock six miles wide to Yucatan Peninsula right next to the Gulf of Mexico and we destroyed all of life, at least all the dinosaurs, on the earth so we could come there and mine southern Africa for all the precious metals and stuff that we were doing. You think this story is out of line? Go get the book The Twelfth Planet. Go get the book by Jim Mars called Rule by Secrecy. Go, go get these books. Go read like I have. Understand. You don't have to believe it, but understand that there are people out here that aren't just selling books. The other day I had a conversation with a kid. He's probably about 26 years old. He talked like he knew everything, 
like he was really intelligent, but he doesn't know everything. He talked like everybody that ri writes books and supposedly quote-unquote are experts are only writing books pr primarily to make money, which I had to agree with him. Yeah, it's probably true. But what makes you think that they don't know what they're talking about? Did you go to school? Did you spend six years in college? Did you do any of the stuff they did? No. Well, then how can you put them down? How can you say their reasoning, you know what their reasoning is? So let me go one further. Here we're at 10 minutes. <clears throat> and I'm trying to get this all down so that it's just concise enough that somebody, some buddies, I'd like millions of people to view all of my videos and to take notes and take the intelligent things that I've said, not things that they agree with, okay? You don't have to agree with something that you agree is intelligent that I said. You can still disagree with it, but that doesn't erase it from being intelligent or making common sense. You can disagree with it, and other people may call you a fool for disagreeing with it because it's common sense, but you can disagree with it. My life is destroyed. You don't understand. I'm still cleaning up the mess that your society did to me, especially LAPD, parking enforcement, uh, the, the uh, building and safety, the stinking lousy brush clearance unit of the fire department. Uh, you know, you've got a bunch of asses. If I'd been given uh, even the, the, the real equal chance to debate these stupid mayors here in Los Angeles, I guarantee you there would not be a downturn. There would not have been a downturn economically like there was over the last 10 years uh, if I'd been given an equal chance. Because if I'd been given an equal chance to debate this idiot, Vigorosa, or Han, or any of these people, not only would I would have won, you would have watched my fire like you would not believe. There would have been people fired right and left, building and safety, fire department, I don't know. I would have dug out every person who's a crappy individual who's used a single standard to apply their law and then replace them with somebody that really was intelligent, that had no less than an IQ of 150. Anyway, so here we are at 12 minutes and 30 seconds. See, now look at that. I even have to worry about, I can't concisely tell you. That's why it's taking videos. I can't concisely tell you all of the stuff that I know in 15 minutes or 30 minutes or even a whole week or a month. You would have to experience every good and bad thing that I have gone through in order to understand what I've gone through how I've been bullied pretty much all of my adult life because of my intelligence because people didn't understand me oh you're that looks dangerous you're working on something that could be dangerous what prove it nothing I've ever done even if it was bad al allowed should allow you or anyone any official to have punished me and destroyed my life so completely, including my mental attitude towards the society that I'm forced to live in now. And, and, and you keep me prisoner here. Now, one person has emailed me on YouTube who has lots of money who said, this guy needs out. I don't want to see him die here. He doesn't want to die. He has a right to leave with whatever's left of his possessions. So maybe if he really is intelligent, we can watch his intelligence blossom in some other country and then be envious of it because that's what will happen if some rich person comes forward there will be an intelligence that will blossom because of the freelance that I would ask for that country they would let me go and I would unbelievably there'd be supernovas of intelligence blasting everywhere and I wouldn't want to share it with the United States of America not at all because they are evil and neglectful and just ridiculous so, you've destroyed my ecology, my financial ecology, my mental ecology. So don't be so pissed when a meteor comes along and destroys your ecology. Because that's pretty much what the world deserves. If I was an alien, I'd press that button. I'd say, you know what? The world needs to go again. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Enjoy the meteor hit. Because when it happens, it'll happen just as fast as what you see if you've ever seen a shooting star. And that's fast. See you later.